Be very, very quiet, my friends. We are checking out closed beta. <laughs> I have no idea why I did that, everybody, but there was no music on the screen, so I was thinking, uh, okay, we need some kind of sound. Hey, everybody, hello, and welcome back to Massively Overpowered Television, where we are taking a look at the closed beta, Legends of Aria. It is chugging along in the development. Excited to jump back in and check it out. I was lucky enough to get some tips on where to spend my beginning points because the character selection the creation is more in depth than i remember in alpha getting to pick things and do things anything and but i actually have somebody before we get totally into my plane we have a special guest with us right now who can tell us a little bit about the closed beta yay hey everybody derek brinkman here project lead and now it's like, there's what? This, is there no music on like the character select screen and stuff? I thought there, there was. There should be. Yeah, there should be. It, oh. yeah, I, I don't know if it loops. It oh. might. Uh, oh, I think it loops. I have no face. Well, this is. Fun. Yeah, that's a bug. <laughs> it's a creepy bug. That is kind of a creepy bug. But um, so I actually made my character before, guys, because I didn't want to sit here for an hour making a character even though it's more robust you know so i could i could take some time i'll give you all a little tour of it while derek is telling us a little bit about closed beta and what's different sure so uh one of the biggest things we did with closed beta 2 was we overhauled the environmental graphics so it's part one of a series of graphical improvements we plan to make to the game um Mainly, what we were able to do was uh, we use Unity for our game client, and uh, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar and have heard of it. Um, recently, it's not that recent, but they rolled out this thing called Global Illumination, um, which takes advantage of a lot of the fancy lighting stuff. Like it, it's been around for a long time, but Unity finally got a hold of it, and and so we uh, we switched over to the Global Illumination and the physically based rendering. Um, we did a lot of stuff with time of day, making it uh, more dynamic. Um, and so now the game feels a lot more... We, we're moving a little bit away from the storybook look and a little closer towards realistic, just because Unity's really, really good at that style, and so we're, we're, we want to just take advantage of what they have. But the game is still very colorful and very uh, saturated, and that's one of the things that keeps it kind of feeling like unique from other unity games so so yeah so the graphical overhaul was a very very big part of closed beta 2 it was a major effort on our part um and the idea was you know we started developing this game four or five years ago so i, I just think it was about time for us to really just do an overhaul on it um we have a little cheat sheet on closed beta 2 i'm gonna pop it up real quick um <laughs> For you to look yeah. at, not for me to look at, right? <laughs> uh, you can post it if you want. This one's actually on our website. Um, we can put. I don't know if I'm allowed to put links in the chat, so I'll just give it to you. And you can do what you want with it. Okay, so um, we have been working on our digital rewards. So lots of stuff was promised to crowdfunding backers and also to our founders packs. And so it's actually not live on the server yet. But we're working on turning them on. And so we will be turning on the uh, Founders Rewards some point during this to test them. Um, we have a new Awakening Encounter. So Awakening Encounters are like large raid encounters, world uh, boss type things. Um, basically, the idea is it's a progressive spawn. So it's not just one fight. You have to like kill lots and lots of monsters to get the boss to spawn. When he spawns, it's a big boss fight. Uh, so we already had one, which was the dragon encounter. So we've added a, uh, uh, like a tree lord, evil tree lord guy in the, uh, <laughs> in the black forest. He's, he's really cool. Um, town shops. So it, previous releases, it was a little bit difficult to tell what was for sale. And if something went out of stock, it would just disappear. So we've addressed that issue. Now you can very easily tell what's for sale in stores. Um, that was a big issue for players. Uh, we're always working towards making navigation tools for players because we don't want to just give them a magical GPS marker, but we do want to give them tools to find their way around. So the Atlas was one of our steps towards that. Uh, you basically fill it with maps, and then you have a, like a full world map that you can kind of 
click around in. You can also put waypoints in it and fun stuff like that. We added some tameables for fun. We added uh, saddles. Or they're actually like saddle bags for, um, for horses. So you can fill it full of stuff. Lots of new music. Um, you know, we also we did a lot of patches between closed beta one and closed beta two, and so we included some of that stuff on this website too, or this web page. So we have secure trading finally. I mean, for years you had to just oh, like wow. go hide somewhere in a house and do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you can trade straight up in the middle of town, and you can trade with people you don't trust, which is pretty important for this kind of game. Trading Crafting with order. people you don't trust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crafting orders is a bit of meta game for crafters. It basically allows you to uh, to fill orders for NPCs uh, to get rewards. So it's a fun system for crafters. Uh, fast travel. We're giving players ways to to allow them to open portals and return to town and all sorts of fun stuff through magical means. Um, our world's really big, and we don't want people. You know, sometimes people refer to MMOs as like you know horseback online or running online right and we don't we don't want that so the dungeon revamp we've gone through and and kind of reevaluated loot for our mobs uh what the dungeons are still missing are some of the like boss mobs we're not really going to go with bosses in the dungeon but in the smaller dungeons we're going to use like these champion mo monsters but that's still coming so we still have some more improvements to come with dungeons um we did lots and lots of other stuff um the game feels, uh, our focus between closed beta 2, closed beta 1 and closed beta 2 was on bug fixes and polish and quality of life. So as we get closer to an early access launch where we want to really open it up to a wider audience and just like, oh, I, I want to relive UO. Like we want it to be people who've never played UO, right? So in order to, yeah. <laughs> In order to do that, we need to provide lots of quality of life stuff. It ca you can't have it beat around the, you know, you have to have people like struggle to find their way through the game. So, so we're working on, you know, basically making the game more um, accessible, I guess is the word, right? And also more polished. So you'll notice that, um, you know, if you're making a new character, you'll see the, the non-interactive UI tutorial that we created. Um, oh, we'll be, I'll be going into that in just a moment. Sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, so actually this weekend we're doing a, uh, a closed beta 2 stress test type thing where we're giving out tons of trial codes. So we're, uh, we're selecting 1,000 people randomly from our newsletter to get seven-day trial keys. Oh, um, nice. Yep, and uh, I think we're also reactivating expired keys. Oh, so, so everybody who won one before in a massively OP drawing would be able to possibly go in. Yep, it will just let them in. Even though on the website it says their key is expired, it'll just let them right in. But they will need so. to download the beta client. Correct, you can still log into the website even if you have an ex expired key, and you'll right. be able to get the beta download there. Cause, cause I, I, I launched the game and it launched <laughs> the alpha and I was like, oh, this, this <laughs> is not right. This. Yeah. <laughs> This is empty. There are no servers. There are no people. I have done something wrong. So yes, guys, be <laughs> sure you log into your account. You made an account, and you use the get the the beta download there. It went really fast. It it launched really fast. So I, while you're and talking, I can say oh, um, there's a community site that has done an absolutely amazing job with their. They have a player handbook and they have a interactive map. Um, and they're really, really great tools for new players. Let's see if it lets me put a link in here. Nope. I'll give it to you. Oh, not in there. has to go to me. Yeah, look yeah. at this. You get dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yep. So that's it. It's called LOA Hub. Um, really dedicated guys. And it's, it's a great resource for new players. Um, you know, one of the things that we run into, and it's something we're going to address with open beta, is um, very large areas of our world are kind of intended for player housing. But because we haven't launched yet, and it's just people coming in and checking it out, very rarely do they actually get enough money to build a house, right? So a lot of our housing areas are pretty empty. Um, so when players come in and they run around and they just see some animals and they go, well, this game is empty. Well, it's because you just ran around the housing area. When the game is launched, the area is going to be filled with houses and player merchants. Um, so it's just a little bit of an issue we're running into in closed beta. And that's why the interactive map from LOA Hub is so useful. Does it have an auto video? Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the map, the interactive map, 
on LOA Hub is so useful because it really just kind of helps you find some of those interesting things. Now, if you want to find them on your own, go ahead. Uh, but if you are the kind of person that needs a little bit of guidance, um, that map is a great tool. Um, unlike me, who he had to make that little uh, extra for, who will just wander aimlessly <laughs> <laughs> and enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> now, this wasn't here. Uh, so what I've been, I've been going through quietly showing everybody the character creation, the different options available, you know, clothing and stuff. Now, this is what I, I really don't remember this being a part the last time I created a character. Because I created one and then it kept right. moving forward for, for a very long time. So, so one of the things we needed to do was we needed to reinforce at character creation that the game does not tie you into any specific class. So this first step here, who am I, is just giving you like a really basic like starting point. And then when you hit next, by allowing you to customize and click through and see all the skills available, it kind of makes it realize like, oh, wow, I can change anything. I can be anything. I can do it, whatever I want. So yeah, so yeah it's, it was just kind of a way to lead new players into realizing that, uh, that the skill-based style is, is very rewarding and it's very open and free. Yeah, one of the first things I did was I read this, Warrior, Mage, Archer, Blacksmith, oh, advanced. <laughs> and then you open it, and it took me a minute, though, I admit, it took me a minute, and it's like no skills. Yeah, and yeah I was you like, advanced, you start with nothing. <laughs> well, it took me a bit to realize that you hovered over the bar to click oh, the bar. Oh, okay, those don't look like buttons, you mean. No, I because see. because it's dark, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and it looks dark usually indicates you can't do anything with it right it should just so, say like click here or something click to select the skill so i was like over the numbers i was met trying to mess with the numbers and i and it was i i by default actually scrolled over it and saw it light up a little bit so yeah that's so that that just i was like none how how, how advanced is that <laughs> like you're, you're i wish hardcore. i could sit with you for two hours because i'd probably have pages of notes on things that we could <laughs> oh no of um. course i mean you're still developing <laughs> but Yep. Um, so I was pointing to people. You actually get to go through the entire list, pick what it is you want to add into your character, add the points in, reduce points, add points. You get to do yep. that all through for whatever. I actually did advanced and created a custom one, thanks mm -hmm. to some hints from Derek, who knew what I wanted to do but didn't know which skills were the ones I needed to check out. So That is the tricky part about advanced, and that's why we call it advanced, because you could definitely pick a, a selection of skills that makes kind of a pretty gimpy character because so the way professions work it's one of the things we want to improve with the first section is it only gives you three choices we want to give you more um because there's actually about 13 professions in the game right now and so a profession is like a collection of skills that gets you uh, a way to make money in the game uh so like a warrior is a combination of vigor and slashing and heavy armor right so even though the warrior profession is kind of like a class in another MMO, it's actually a, a collection of skills that creates that profession. Some professions are actually only one skill. For example, fishing. A lot of the, the, the resource gathering type professions are, are really just one skill. We kind of consider blacksmithing to be mining slash bat blacksmithing. Almost everybody who blacksmiths is also a miner, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but it just makes for really kind of an interesting way to, to balance the game. We balance the game around professions rather than balancing them around classes. So. Yeah. So, so what would inscription, fishing, cooking, and healing be? <laughs> inscription is your ability to create uh, <laughs> magical spells, right? Uh, and I think you can do some other cool stuff with inscriptions. It's a crafting skill. Uh, fishing, obviously, and cooking. So uh, right now, fishing and cooking, uh, they fill you up and prevent you from losing vitality, but they don't give you any buffs or advantages. So we're going to be adding some, some extra reasons to eat food. Because right now, you can just carry around bread. You don't need, actually need to cook special foods. So that's one of the things we'll be fixing. And then healing is your ability to use bandages. So your ability to, to, to heal you and other people with bandages. Yes, yeah, so you're not wrapping the bandage, like, around their throat and choking <laughs> them, you know. Which maybe if you don't have good skill there, that's what you're doing. Yeah. But <laughs> I thought inscription would go well with cooking, make some recipe. I, I have no idea. So you can really, <laughs> well, probably mess yourself up here as well as sure. you could uh, just be really creative. So. Mm hmm yeah, well, you can make some interesting combinations. And we don't actually limit you to four skills. Uh, it's just four in the beginning. 
you can actually get up to 600 skill points and each skill can go up to 100. So if you want to have uh, maxed out skills, then you can have six. But if you want to mix and match, you know, you can take 80 in one, 20 in another, or something like that. You can do eight or even 10 different skills on one character. That's a so. lot of skills. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know you have a meeting. You weren't able to stay with us the whole time. Yes, I do have to run in a minute, but I just wanted to hop in and say hi to everybody. Yeah, and, and uh, giving us the, the lowdown on what's going on with the closed beta and letting us know. So this weekend, does that start today? It's going to start today. We're, we'll be turning on the expired keys when we send out the email to the newsletter. So uh, so if you have an expired key, you are on our newsletter, unless you unsubscribe. Uh, and so you'll get an email today when we turn them on. Nice. So there you go. People who've had expired keys jump in. Now it's like... Wait, do I have any old expired keys that didn't get given away? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Let me we, give we away an away, expired uh, key uh, to you guys. They'd be like, well, what kind of gift is that? But, but really, <laughs> it's good this weekend. Yeah, that's funny. Um, and so uh, one thing I will talk about is we, we are approaching a open beta slash early access release. And what that means is we will be doing our final character wipe and really promoting the game. We're going to put up a real nice trailer. Uh, and so that's coming in a few months. So we're getting really, really close. So uh, um, we're excited on the team, and we can't wait to uh, to really show this game to the world. So, so help, help, thank you for helping us get the word out. Oh, absolutely. Well, thank you for coming in and and imparting some of the behind the scenes knowledge for us. No and problem. And Ohio says if you already have an account that says expired, but you got another key as well and added it to that account. Oh, multiple <laughs> keys on an account cause problems because yeah, yeah, MJ's, so... MJ's account got locked out because of her first <laughs> expired alpha key from three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. What, can, uh, that hint to just use their ID instead of their email? That does work, yes. Yeah. So in your dashboard, there'll be a user ID value. You can use that instead of your uh, account email address. Right. The account so email address be... will... Mm -hmm probably pick the one you don't want it to pick so. right exactly and yeah. if you have any problems with getting into the game uh email us contact at siddlestudios.net we are pretty responsive we try to be so. and they are they were very quick to get mine going so <laughs> cool okay well have a great stream mj and thanks everybody and enjoy the stream all right have a good one thanks for stopping bye, -bye. bye. no problem oh there you go guys he couldn't stay for the whole time but he did want to come in, and uh, now this is funny because I'm only on character creation now so that you guys could hear him and we didn't get distracted by gameplay and whatever was going on. But uh, I, I actually have a pre-made character. I'm not making this uh, whatever I called her. Um, <laughs> oh, so I could have shown you guys. Got, oh. Well, hmm. I guess going back takes you completely out. Interesting problem. I'd buy the middle pack of the game, but I prefer the title of the cheapest pack. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I didn't realize that would kick me out. I thought that would take me to character select. So I got to re-log in here and um, probably going to have to cut that little bit right out of the uh, stream. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah. One of those super long passwords I have. Well, that's my bad for saying re remember account name there, I guess. <laughs> Buy the cheaper, then get the more expensive one. Alright, and my hint is next time, don't make back go to logging out the game. How about back just goes to character select? <laughs> oh, I didn't want Bubby created. Can I delete Bubby? Oh, well, that's not going to work. I need a way to delete Bubby. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're going to Angel. Oh, faceless Angel. Oh, you can only delete the character in-game and you have to wait seven days. 
Alright. Well, I'll do that. I never even finished making her. Actually, that's interesting. Once you put the name in, your character's made. So, if you crash or you come back or whatever, you can still continue making your character. That's actually pretty cool. So how many times has, ha have you gotten all the way through this long, long process of character creation, go to the name, and either name's taken or you crash out? Well, I have two other empty slots, so we can do that. All right, let's play. Woohoo! Now, oh, you also, right at the end, I didn't show you guys, but at the end, you pick which city. So there are four cities. And I picked kind of the centrally located one. Ta-da! Here I am. Alright, so, here's a little hint I was, uh, given. So, my taming and my animal lore are almost maxed, because those are actually really difficult to train up. And then I have two of the magic spells, um... One of them that has some healing stuff, so I took healing out of my build since it's mostly bandaging and I did a magical heal So there you go. I got a magical heal and Then I have some power as well, and I got a fireball yes! Oh, sorry. I might be a little um, You can You can not click to move per se, but I can click hold down my right mouse and she moves this way or WASD. So not the not the set down click to move. Melissa the nurse. You wouldn't happen to have a spare hammer, would you? No. Wow, it doesn't show up in chat, so you've got to be reading over their heads. That's not good for somebody like me who might look away from the screen. Ah! Where did... Dude, did I just, like, eat the guy that was standing there? I just looked away for a half second. I like click on him and then I feel sated. He's like gone. I wouldn't, I don't want character names on. I haven't heard about the dead recently, thank the gods. I think that trade is gonna pick up soon. There we go. Robert the Tailor, how are you, my good sir? Maker of clothing. The land of Celador, my friend. It is here that you will likely spend the rest of your life, as we all have for generations. Barring something like no, oh, I don't know. The dead gate coming to life, or strangers opening a portal somewhere. You know, who knows what. Uh, v does not turn characters' names on, as far as I can tell. I mean, I hit V and nothing happens. Walk. Run. Walk. Moonwalk. Nope. Moonwalk doesn't work. Um, so possibly because I loaded into game and left the little Insta tutorial that I thought was starting then is gone. Sorry, y'all. Was that like stealing if you come up and get that? I 
though it's not really telling me anything here. Can I take a drink? Hmm. Hmm, what? Welcome to Inn of the Golden Lion, the best in all of Aria. Would you like a drink? An ale? We brew it in-house. I already know animal team. Timothy Jameson, but everybody calls me Dr. Paws. Once a doctor, healed all kinds of people, pets, and animals. I even had a man who tamed a bear and brought him in. I used to be a devotee of the water clan, but since Tathys is gone, I've spent most of my time working in the inn and anything else. I can still heal. <coughs> Old fashioned way with bandages. When you have someone able to close wounds with a simple spell, it put me out of business so fast. I sell ale now for the money is good. Oh. Oh, man. Poor guy. Oh, uh, do I click on the wisp and that starts the tutorial? Oh, that's right. He's your little magical guide. We've played this. I wonder how the how the guide has changed, Anito. Alright, user interface. Let's show you guys. Here it is. User interface basic tutorial. Backpack, skills, ability, character window. Uh, the backpacks in here are just about my favorite. Uh, you can't organize it very well, but you know, it's a backpack. And skill page, which, wow, I wish I had all those. Oh, that's right, these have regents. Moss. And lemongrass. I guess I need lots of moss and lemongrass. Here are your abilities, Q and E. And then there's your map. Double click to interact. Enter and, oh, totally forgot the space bar had to do with combat. <laughs> Run into the range and swing. Swing, bada, 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 bada. Oh. Here we go. Magic. Run into range. And cast. Oh, there we go. You awaken to find yourself in the strangest of places. You have no memory of how you got here or even who you were in front. In your former life, all you can remember is a blinding flash of light and your own name. Uh, let's see, do I have any questions? How do I get a house? Yes, houses. Yeah, it's gonna be a while. Alright, goodbye. Oh, I guess it can make it go away, too. Wait, why do I have that unknown showing up there? What, what the heck? that out of my way. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, chicken. Don't kill the chicken in town. All right. Let's go out and tame an animal, because that's really what I want to do. As soon as I figure out where out is. Actually, I'm not sure I want this thing following me for the rest of my life here. 
looking for some the questions, new abilities. You can perform up to three additional special abilities trained by the various prestige trainers. Found trainers require you to bring them training manual for the associated ability and experience. Looking for the teleportation tower? Travel to the far reaches? Yes, I know where the nearest teleportation tower is. I've marked it on your map. Cool. Any map? No, I'll just do other things on my map too. Somewhere to hunt. Looking for a shop. Mage supplies. Ah, oh, darn, it moves it. Oh, we're actually not too far from that. Yes! Well, I don't know about storage, but I know you can tame them out, because we had a horse last time. So you can't actually spin the camera around anymore? Oh, yes, you can. Never mind, you still can. So north and south will never be the same for you. Alright. Hi, Pad the Alchemist. Suddenly I want Pad Thai. I have a question. Who are you? Nicodemus Bell. I am the most powerful mage in all the city of Petra. Never heard of it? Just because it's a population too. I know much of the magical arts, and I've made it my journey to pass on knowledge of the arcane and divine to those who seek it. Are you seeking? If you wish to become a master of the elements and patron of the gods, then I shall assist you in that regard. It is my pleasure to study the arcane and the mystical. <sighs> Why? Why am I a mage? Why? My entire life I've been practicing magic. I was capable of producing magic powder from an early age. I desired to learn after a communion with Tethy some uh, 30 years ago. After my communion, I desired nothing more than to know and spread knowledge of magic. Magic is who I am. Magic is what made me. Ugh. And it shall make you. <laughs> uh, with um, my help. Ah, the land of Celador, a living temple to the goddess Tethys. It is here, in this region, that we have made our home. The world we reside in has been cut off from the outside for a thousand years. Through the intervention of the gods and the destruction of Arya. Though, we know little of how it came to be, and it wasn't my magic that did it. It was not my magic. It's understood that the other places may exist that we are unable to reach. I want to buy something. Wow! Alright, that yellow is not good. Click on an item near the merchant, maybe, to purchase it? Wow. Okay, let's change that color. Holy macaronis. Lemongrass. <clears throat> Do I have any copper, by the way? <clears throat> oh, I have some mushrooms.
Oh my gosh, guys, I'm sorry. That was such a bad coffee fit. And yes, you have to click on the things around the merchant. Or sometimes they have boxes. Um, see the bags back here and the, it, you, you click the items. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. What was the regent for? Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. I'm still trying to breathe. Wait. Can't do that yet. Oh. I forgot, didn't, oh, didn't it say moss? Oh, yeah, regent moss, regent lemongrass. All right, so. Stamina, heal, mana. I need some moss. Ginseng, maybe it doesn't use moss anymore. Maybe it uses mushrooms. Can't really. Hmm. Well, I guess we've got some ginseng already, so let's just go out. I don't know that I have any copper, so. Yeah, lemongrass was for the fireball. Moss is for ruin, but. Gotta turn the world back around. Oh, forget to close the bag. Oh, see, you can make it bigger so you can see in here better. You can also make a list of what your stuff is. Oh, I do have 50 copper apparently. So let's hope I don't die. Yeah, it's super cool way to make a vendor. All right, Wisp. Somewhere to hunt. Oh. No, I wanted to go outside and get a pet. I didn't want to go to sewers or graveyard. I was hoping moving my orientation would fix which way north is. Chicken. No. Shucks. All right, we need to orient this. So that is the same way my map is going. I'm a little confused. Oh, maybe this way. Maybe 
maybe not. Or wait, maybe it is. Maybe it's outside of town or something? Oh, I can finally go this way, okay. sure if I'm doing anything. Failed to tame. You have no ta chance of taming this creature. Alright, fine. See there are some people on their horses. Alright, I guess we're gonna go back this way. Eat one of the guards, maybe they'll tell you the way. Yeah. bridge under there. Bridge over troubled water. teleportation thing I wanted somewhere that way. Bellhaven, huh? I wonder what Bellhaven is. Oh, oh, no, I need to keep going down that big road, I guess. Well, that sure looks like a tower. Yeah. Ooh, coyote. Let's try to tame a coyote. Pretty sure I have no chance of controlling the bear either. So, even though I'm like max the skills you could start with, maybe I should have tried to tame a chicken. What do you guys think? Should I go get a pet chicken? Go back to town, try for a pet chicken? attack pet, but... Uh, Alright, I guess we go look for chickens or something. Somebody's complimenting someone's outfit. Am I allowed to tame a chicken in town? No, I actually want to eat chicken. See, I hear, I mean, I hear a turkey. Oh, that's a person. Turkey! Let's see if I can give me a turkey. sure if I'm allowed to move and follow it or not. I don't know. Oh! I've tamed a turkey! Woohoo! Come on, little turkey pet. That's right. You are my friend. Oh. Stay away from the black bear. Oh, horse. 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 
Of course, of course. It's red. Somehow I think it's going to say no to that. <laughs> so I'm going to have to tame lots of turkeys. Uh, does it tell you that I've increased any? Let's see. Uh, nope, I'm still at 25, 25, so I don't know how long it's going to take. All right, uh, let's go find something to shoot. Do any of you remember the massive turkey, uh, that we had to fight once in the game? Okay, why do I have this black bear name now stuck on the top of my <laughs> screen? I bet I can probably name it. Maybe. Oh, hold it down. Alright. Try that again. Rename. Well, now I'm going to be stuck here wondering what to name him. I'm going to name him Goober. I can release them, transfer them, interact with them. I try clicking on anything up here. They don't seem to be arrows. I mean... Was dinner already taken? <laughs> Hey, Goober has no guild, no allegiance, and no bio. An attack at four. Attack speed is two. He has 44 defense. Dude, this thing has better strength and agility than I do. I, th I think, actually. I don't know about these stats for me. Or maybe that is me it's talking about, not... Oh, wait, I'm unsure. Sorry, I couldn't tell you whether it's Ultima-ish because I never played Ultima. Um, I gotta tell you, I'm not sure which of these is me and which one is the, the turkey. I think the top attack, attack two, is that one me? Oh my gosh, the wimpy attack is me. <laughs> the turkey is better than I am. Oh my gosh. Hey, Bill. I I've got an attack turkey. And I want to be able to see. All right, I'm going to. Let's 
probably going to be very bad for me, but... Cast failed. <laughs> Wait, where's my turkey? Oh, there he is. Dang, it's dark in here. Come on, turkey. We need to go back in the city because I can't see anything. It's like I don't have a light spell. Or so does light spell when you need it. Ooh, more turkeys. I heard another turkey. Let's let's create a turkey army, my friends. Can you guys even see this? It is so dark. Do I have a do I have a torch or anything? Hunting knife, crook, region, spread, spell book. Torch! Aha! I have a torch! Alright, let's find another turkey. There's another turkey. Because now we can see what's going on. Why did I fail to tame? Hmm. Yeah, no, no light spell. Failed to tame, but I have earned points. Alright. Oh, no, that's just a hind. I'm going to keep trying to tame this turkey. I'm wondering if there's, like, once you fail... <laughs> Creature is too angry to continue taming. My cast skills are very low. Hmm. Well, at least I'm getting a little bit of skill with all my fails here. Yeah, no, it's my cast failing. Screen full of nameplates soon. See if he'll forgive me. I'm just gonna keep trying, man. fail enough you get skills though bill it is not free to play but if you had won any of the previous keys any of the seven day trial keys or anything you can actually get in this weekend and they're turning on all the old expired keys oh So why is it giving me- Ah! 
No, no, no. He said it's my pet. Why is my pet hitting me? Why did it say I tamed it and it's still angry? What is with that? This is messed up. Why is it still got an attack symbol? That's just not cool, because it's going to follow me no matter what, because it's my pet. <laughs> this is not a good situation. Oh. Wait. Alright, but my turkey still wants to eat me. I cannot be tamed. What the heck? Wait, T. What's T do? What do you mean cannot be tamed? It's already my pet! <laughs> This is terrible! Where's my other turkey pet, by the way? Did he kill my other turkey? Where's Goober? Goober, where are you? <laughs> what on earth is going on? All right, maybe if I run in a house, I can get away from the turkey. <sighs> what do y'all think? I'm gonna die to my own turkey! Type all stay, like with a slash? No, no. <clears throat> that didn't work. I don't want to bash! Oh, you can't get off the edge. Oh, what kind of craziness doesn't let you jump off the edge? <laughs> no. This is not a cool bug. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't want to hurt you. My <laughs> turkey's gonna die. <laughs> no. Is it dead now? Oh. What the heck? What is this? Oh. I was gonna name him Cooper. Oh, did I not lose karma for killing my own pet? And now I've lost Goober, who's I don't know where. Jeez. See if I can find Goober again. I left him out here somewhere. All right, we were down here somewhere. I think I don't even know. Goober is gone. Goober's playmate is gone. I 
anything that tells you where your pet is? <laughs> Have any of you seen a pet turkey? <laughs> Goober's all lost out in the wild. Oh, there's Goober. Wait, why is he red attack too? No. Is he like not my pet anymore? There we go, wait. Why? Oh, there we go. Uh, I'll follow, maybe? Wait, there actually is a chat box. Hi, chat box! what to do. <laughs> it looks around at the villagers suddenly eating sandwiches. Well, here's Goober. Here's me. I'm with Goober. Um, we have not been able to cast a single spell. I think we did cast heal on ourselves. I think that might have actually... I guess I could have tried to... Could I have healed my Turk? Well, then he probably would have killed me. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're hardcore here. And, uh, so this is me and Goober. <laughs> and Goober, I don't know if he's nonchalant about what happened here, or if he's hurt that I picked another turkey, or if he just doesn't trust me and he's, you know, give me the cold shoulder. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> um, but there you go, guys. There is a look at the closed beta. So... Don't forget that this weekend your keys are going to be reinstated for the weekend. They'll be opened up. You'll be able to come in and check it if you've ever had any of the trial keys before. You can also, you know, get the game, uh, whatever. So that's a look at it. This game has come a long, long way um, from back when it was shards. And it was going to be all about modding and these little tiny cluster worlds. And now it's expanded into an MMO uh, that people have been, they've wanted a bigger world and a bigger world, and that's exactly what the team has been delivering on. So, if you want to learn more about it, Legends of Aria, you can check it out on MassiveVOP.com. There are also, you know, old streams that <laughs> you can check out. I, I wonder if the turkey attack one is in there. It should be. Uh, it might be a little weird. It might be under shards still for that, but... Uh, take a look, check it out, and of course, check out the calendar and all that good stuff there as well. Thank you to all of you for being here. Thank you for being a part of our community, for all the support and keeping us going in all your ways, shapes, and forms, guys. Appreciated like no tomorrow. But there, there is a tomorrow, okay? I don't want to panic anybody. There's a, there's a tomorrow, but... <laughs> we'll see you next time on OPTV, so have a good one, and... Well, I was, I, I can't think of a farewell that turkey, just R.I.P. unnamed turkey. <laughs>